It is Sunday, August oh, 24th, maybe. I'm not really sure. Sunday, though. That's Sunday in August. Here we go. It is blue skies, bright sunshine, probably 75, light breeze. Uh, very nice day for Buffalo for August. So here we have uh, an ash, but look how like uh, kind of gnarly it is, right? It's not really straight, it has all these different angles and cuts. So my thought was, the first thought was it'd make more sense to cut it right here and do two pieces, but then that piece isn't long enough to fit between the two supports, the bunks. So, I'm going to leave it like that, and we're just going to make some cuts and see what we got. You know, is there a lot of usable wood in that? I'll probably get some flats out of here for the trail. Maybe I'll get one longer uh, inch thick board to use for the boardwalk side rails. Uh, and the rest will go for chipping uh, to be used on the trail. So, it'll all go to use. And I think it's just a fun little project.
Well, that piece, let's see if we can see them all crawling around. A lot of ants. Kind of interesting. Uh, this section here has lots of ants. It's all rotten. We're probably just going to chip that, I think, once the ants leave. Uh, but look, we got a... This is like one nice board. You can either use it as flat, so I just... It's even good enough to use as a long long plank on a trail for armoring. Alright, here's a, a nice piece of ash. It doesn't look too rotten. Let's see how long it is. Let's see if we can do it one-handed. Can be pretty close to 10 foot. Yeah, like nine and a half. So I checked the carriage. It does clear all this. I think we're going to square it up into a reasonable cant, not a full cant. And then uh, we'll probably take some inches out of this and some inch and a halfs out of this. Let's see what happens. Okay, so <clears throat> that was a mighty nice log. So out of that we got two inch and a half thick by, I don't know, let's call that six inches. Those two are going to be like planks for armoring in the trail. And we got one, two, three, one inch by like six inch, nine and a half foot. Uh, boards which look pretty nice uh, yeah those are ash so 
we got those I think we're gonna load one more and then have some lunch and go for a walk all right we're gonna pull I pulled one of those now they're not stumps stumps are the things I consider they're in the ground I need a stump grinder for it. these are like bottom logs <coughs> the last piece of tree trunk that you cut off before you get to the stump so here's one but look at the shape as expected right kind of a little different so we're shits and giggles we're gonna try to cut this one up into some uh, flats I think most people would probably just cut it to 16 inches and split it for firewood but I don't really have a use for firewood I do have a use for flats I call those flats 20 inch long by whatever width by an inch and a half thick and I use those on a trail for part of the boardwalk so that's what I think we're gonna try to do for this all right, that's 12 inch diameter on the small end. The big end is actually too wide for the carriage, so it's probably more than like 20 or so, so I have to reset that. Well, that was fun <laughs> and all it really took was a little extra blocking with about four or five inches to cut one side nice and uh, flat and then we we're able to get the other sides flat and here we go we got one two three four five the red means ash five inch and a half thick that's probably I don't know eight inches eight inches wide and I think they're yeah, somewhere around 20 inches long is what we need for the flats. And then we got this extra thin board on top, which you never know when you need a thin board. But I'm going to actually put that underneath to keep it flat. All right, I got to go have lunch, go for a walk. And perhaps after lunch, we will try that bottom log.